In this episode, we're talking about dust management on your Shapoko 3. We create some dust covers for your V-wheels to keep your projects running great. Stay tuned. Alright, in the last video I covered designing machine enclosures and user parameters in Fusion 360. Now if you follow me on my other social feeds, then you know I'm performing lots of upgrades on my Shapeoko 3. I'll spare you all the details, but in summary I've upgraded the limit switches, the V-wheels, Z-axis, added a new 2.2kW uh, spindle, a cooling system, and a brand new dust shoe. I figured while I have it out of the enclosure, it's a great opportunity to make all of these improvements. The Shapeoko 3 is a great machine and works for lots of folks and holds its own in the DIY CNC community, but probably the best feature is its ability to be customized. Its simple design lends itself well to upgrades, modifications, and while I don't tend to tinker as much with my machines anymore, um, as much as I put them to work, it's nice to know that I can and there are lots of other folks out there sharing the stuff that they've done to customize it. That said, there are a few things that still bother me with the design, and that's the open rail system. One is dust collection and dust management of those rails. And while there are a couple dust boots available to address the first one, they really don't meet my needs, and I'll address that in an upcoming video when I introduce the dust jet. The second issue, which is more time consuming for me, is the management of dust on X and Y rails and the V wheels. If you're not familiar with the design, uh, these are wheels that carry the spindle gantry in the X and Y axis. The design consists of several hard rubber, in some cases, is Deleron V grooved wheels which ride on an extruded aluminum profile. They use eccentric nuts to adjust and tighten them and as a result any debris that's thrown up on those wheels or the rails themselves can cause disruptions in the movement of the gantry and when this happens you can get jerky movement in the x and y axis and when the wheels roll over that debris it's a real pain it can ruin the quality of your work. Once you've learned the hard way by having this happen to you it becomes a chore to constantly check and clean the rails and wheels with a toothbrush or a blast of air. Traditionally, CNC's have bellows which are designed to keep fluid and debris like this out of these types of areas. And while I did find a few people that did some work on applying this to the Shapeoko, it was a lot of work and in the end it was quite bulky. After giving this a bit of thought, I decided to see what I could come up with and I found drawings of the X and Y rail end plates online and then headed over to Fusion 360 to design a dust cover for the wheels. The thought is that if you can't prevent the dust on the rails, I can at least create a wheel cover to remove the dust from the rail before it contaminates the wheels. That's the theory. So over in Fusion 360, I used manual measurements of the wheels and bolts to define a design that would protect the wheel assembly while scrubbing the V-grooves and remove debris from the rail. This was then molded using a few sketch extrusions where necessary, I placed holes for the limit switch mounts as well as the magnets to hold the cover in place. For scrubbing the rail, I landed on using a laser cut leather profile to rub against the rail V-groove. A slot was incorporated in the design to hold the leather scrubbers. With the designs complete, I took them over into Simplify 3D and sliced them at a 0.25 layer height and 20% infill. I uploaded them to Aquaprint and printed them out on my TAS, which took a couple hours for each. With the covers complete, next I needed to laser cut the leather scrubbers. I modeled the profile in Fusion 360, prepared the toolpath, and then cut them on the laser. With the leather scrubbers cut, I installed them on the 3D printed dust covers. The last step was to install a few magnets in the respective mount holes. This would hold the cover in place without the need for hardware. For covers that mount directly on the wheels, I used ring magnets for a strong and perfect snap. With the covers ready, I mounted the top and bottom Y-axis dust covers. The top part consists of two pieces and one more for the bottom wheels. This takes about two minutes to install, no tools required, and the magnets and leather scrubbers keep them in place. Next, the X-axis covers are installed. Top and bottom covers mount directly over the wheels via ring magnets on the bearings. The best part about this is that they still work with both the stock Shapeoko Z-plate as well as the aluminum HDZ by Beaver CNC. The leather rail scrubbers keep good contact with the X and Y rails without introducing unnecessary drag, which should keep the wheels free of debris. In the end, the only adjustment needed for this convenience was to offset the Y limit switch by about a half an inch. This is to prevent the covers from hitting the belt hold downs. I added a one half inch offset block to the rear Y rail with double sided tape. This will engage the switch early. Although I lose about a half an inch of Y travel, it's a fair trade off for peace of mind. Only time will tell, but after a few test runs, things are looking great and keeping any large debris from the wheels. To improve the design, I may add an acrylic face or an inspection window, but for now they're working great. So this is a very simple mod one of the simple upgrades that I did while having these out and replacing the V wheels and the eccentric nuts I wanted to share this with you and if you're like me you'll want to give these a try to help limit the routine maintenance that's otherwise required 
The models can be downloaded from my website at DIY.engineering or at thingiverse.diy.engineering. As well, if there's any interest, I'd be happy to provide kits via my website. Comment below on how we can improve the design. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, it's free, and hit that bell for upcoming video notifications. In the meantime, be safe, have fun, and I can't wait to see you next time. Hey, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It's how we're building the community. Also, allow me to bring better content. Also, check me out on these other social networks. There's lots of cool stuff there, too.